Hey guys, how you doing today? I figure I'll show you some of the coins that uh, have come in the mail in the past uh, couple of weeks. Um, I haven't been able to do these camcorder videos as much uh, because it does take a little bit extra time. But um, I'm sure most of you have seen this one here, the Swan um, 2018. So I have some of these. Uh, nothing new right but there's some other ones that you know we spoke about and this one here um, double dragon it's like it's good it's good but it's not photogenic right so it's really hard to see uh, the dragons you know it doesn't it doesn't um well, let's just say you have to work hard at seeing what's there right Although when we saw uh, the picture illustrations on the website from Atmax and all these other places that were selling it, it looked really good. But when I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, it's 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 good, but it's kind of difficult to see the design, you know. And maybe because it's shiny in the background, I'm not sure. Uh, they made this uh, with the shiny surface. And... Um, yeah, this is Perth Mint, right? Or is it um, Royal Mint? I forget. I think it might be the Royal Mint. I don't remember now. Because I remember there was another Double Dragon. Like I think there was a New Way coin that came out. So I'm getting confused here. But anyway, uh, good coin, but uh, a little bit hard to see. Okay. So next one is the bird of paradise and so the tail is sticking out and he's got wings like robotic wings right um I don't know is this good I guess but I'm not totally thrilled with the design but at least I have one for taking pictures of it if I want to put it on the calendar. And speaking of uh, uh, the calendar, uh, thanks for everyone who commented in one of my videos that I posted recently uh, saying what they, what they would like to see, you know. And I think uh, some people have mentioned this one here, uh, which I will take a picture and see if it comes out good, but chances are it won't. But if it does come out good, then, then I'll, I'll think about putting it in to the calendar, right? All right, so here's another one here. Uh, African Lion. Now, this one's not so bad. Uh, it, you know, it's got the fluffy, you know, the mane, and it does look pretty good. Um, I think lions in general, cougars, panthers, those those type of animals do well on coins, and um, yeah, I think this comes with the COA, like this one here, here, right? So it's the African lion, and you got Africa on the back, I think, right? Yeah, okay. So not too bad, right? And one final one here. Uh, this is pretty interesting. If you like space, okay. So this is a. The two ounce, it's thick, right? It's thick, so it's two ounce. Uh, the Apollo 11 two ounce high relief coin, right? Or round, I should say. Oops. Uh, let's see. Kennedy is on the other side. And so uh, Gainesville has this for about 38 bucks. And you could actually find some of them on eBay but not too many of the two ounces. Um, they have actually the one ounce version of this. And um, I was looking on eBay and I'm like, okay, one ounce for about 25 bucks. So better value, you know, if you go by the ounce, this is a better value. Uh, but you know, um, it's at, only at Gainesville for some reason. And um, if you just want the one ounce, I'll leave a link down below and see if I can find who has the best price. It might be eBay, it might be somebody else, but I'll, I'll look around on, on the website and post a link down below if you guys are interested in this one because it's kind of cool, you know. 
And for those of you who like the chunky one, you know, I'll leave a link to the Gainesville uh, listing. Hopefully they have some in stock. Um, I'm not sure what the mintage is or anything like that, but uh, you know, fairly interesting uh, two ounce high relief. Now, um, I had mentioned about uh, a raffle before, and I think it was James A or something A. Um, he had mentioned that doing raffles has a lot of legal issues and that, um, you know, if I were to do one, I have to have like uh, some type of like permit or something like that. And it depends. The rules are different for each state and it's considered gambling. So like I never really uh, f followed up to actually do a, a raffle. Having said that, there's so many people doing raffles on on Instagram, you know, left and right. And um, I'm taking it like most of them who do that are from the United States. And the United States has um, raffle laws. And I was going to give away or kind of raffle away one of these coins here, right? And I don't have the case for this one. Um, uh, I just have these. Somehow I got these and I don't have the case. So I don't know, maybe I'll give them away for the next uh, giveaway, which would be 5,000 subscribers, which I'm about uh, four or 500 subscribers away. Or, but if somebody really wants these, then let me know in the comments and maybe we can work something out, okay? So the other thing is um, I got a notice from YouTube saying that the Facebook Messenger uh, thing is uh, not working anymore. It's not going to work, uh, not exactly now, but it, they're going to stop using the private message feature in the summer. So going forward, uh, I think they want us to use like a business email, like set up a business email on your channel. So that's probably what I'll do. I don't think I have done that, but I'll do that. So if anybody wants to contact me privately, uh, you'll have to go to the a business inquiry uh, email page or something like that okay so that's what i have for you guys so far um if you have any comments or questions just leave them down below uh, if you're brand new to the channel hit the subscribe button and i'll speak to you guys later